This video gives detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the Python code that I use to evaluate players and football manager. We'll do Windows first, then Mac, and if you can't get those to work, there's a third option, something called Google Colab that works in the cloud that hopefully will work as a fail-safe for the, those can't get it to work. Let's get into it. One point before we get started, do disable attribute masking while you're trying to get this to work. Okay, straight into Windows. So if you downloaded from this video, one of my previous videos on Mediafire, the uh, code and the files you need, what you need to then do is take those and put them into Football Manager. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see the path. It's in Documents, uh, Sports Interactive Football Manager. The views need to go into a folder called Views. Just copy and paste them across, relatively straightforward. And then for the other two types of uh, files, so you've got tactics and you've got filters. In the Sports Interactive folder on your computer, you'll need to create new folders for those. So go ahead and do that. And then again, copy and paste across uh, the filters and the tactics. And of course, you can get all of that in the description of this video or the previous couple of videos I've uh, been using this Python code in. So this is just tactics coming across now on the screen. Right, now we'll go into Football Manager and just open all the views, the filters and the tactics. So we'll start off with the views. Here we are on the squad screen. Uh, load the view. Uh, you need to go into Sports Interactive and then Football Manager 24 and then just where you put it, which is views. So here you want the one called All Attributes Squad. Load that. Okay, that, that's just setting up the view so that we can export the right data to the Python code. We do the same in the player search screen here. And again, just import the view. And this time you want the one in the same folder. And that's called player search all attributes. And then you do the same in the shortlist screen. Import view. Same folder, and then all attributes shortlist. That's the views. Now just installing the tactics, so load that in as well. That's in the tactics folder. Don't have to use the tactic, of course, but if you want to follow closely the approach I've been taking, then that's a tactic that I use. And then into the player search screen here, uh, and what we're doing here is importing the filters. So it will import the filters for each and all of the roles in the tactic that we just imported. And in the Python code, the scoring system uh, anticipates that the players will uh, have the roles in the tactic, and this is therefore scoring those roles. Uh, if you look at the code, you'll see there are, there are other alternatives that you can use, most notably uh, a number 10 and a winger. Um, and so uh, have a look at that if you use those in your tactic. Right, now let's get Python set up. This is Anaconda. So go to this website and download here. Uh, and it's a fairly large download. It's a, a one gigabyte download. You shouldn't need this screen, which asks, do you want 64-bit windows or something else? It should do it all automatically for you. Uh, Anaconda is, is what we need. Uh, here's the, the uh, installer, open that. And if this all installs um, as it should, then what we'll do next is uh, be open, able to open something called Jupyter Notebook. And that's what we're going to use to uh, to run our Python code. Go through like this, as you can see on the screen. Um, agree with this and go and, and uh, read that and go through like this. Um, no need to change any of these options. Go ahead and install. And then hopefully what you'll find is Anaconda will install itself. And you can um, go to the Start menu and load Anaconda. Of course, take, we've sped this up, of course, but it'll, it'll take a little while. But what you'll find is you should get to a screen with Jupyter Notebook on it. Here's the screen. So you should launch Jupyter Notebook and then just sort of put that to the side for a moment. What we need to do now is I put a folder on the desktop. We're going to call it FM Data. And that folder we're going to put in the Python code that we downloaded. Now, what we need to do is tweak the Python code to see this folder, because what we're going to do is bring data into this folder from Football Manager, recalculate it using the Python code, and then we're going to read it ourselves. So in this folder, 
we've got the Python code. We'll navigate to that in Jupyter Notebook, so you can go to Desktop and then the, file, the folder name you've just created. Open the Python code, it will open in Jupyter Notebook. We need to change this code in two places to ensure that it's got the file path of the folder that we just created. So the first place uh, we'll see on the screen here, we'll copy address as text, that gives us the the, fault, the, the uh, path that we need. Now one quirk here for Windows users is we need to change the direction of these backslashes, or these slashes from one to the other, uh, and then we need to add one at the end. So we need to, it needs to be exactly like this, so copy this precisely, obviously use your own file path, and then copy the text, and then co um, copy it here, that much text, take it to the bottom, and in this piece of code, replace the file path with the same one. Okay, so once you've done that, you can save the code. That's now looking at the correct folder on your Windows desktop. We can now test this. Let's take some, some uh, data out of the Fault Manager. So let's take it, let's run a filter. This is one of the filters uh, that we've just installed, a striker. We're Arsenal uh, in, in this uh, Save a Fault Manager. And uh, what we'll do is we'll see which strikers might want to sign for Arsenal. Okay, so here, it's control A, select all, just click in the data, control A, control P, that's web page. Then go uh, to the folder that you've just created, we've called it FM data. And then this just needs to be a unique final uh, name of any type, so just whatever, and then save it. You'll see it in the folder. That's come out of Football Manager. Now go here and run the code. So go sell, run all, this will run the code. Make sure, by the way, that the, the, the view that we installed before, the one called All Attributes, is the one that you can see in Football Manager. This will then, the code runs, and here is the result of the code. These are a bunch of forwards. There's a Zim Hen at the top. He's got a score of 16. Um, and let's just check this works by doing the Arsenal squad. So if we go to the Arsenal squad, again, make sure the, the view says All Attributes. If it doesn't say that, you'll get an error. Control A, Control P, having clicked into the data, go back and find your folder, give it a unique file name, something for the Python code to go and look at and see, run the code, it's telling it, go and look at that data, read it, calculate scores, and put it back in the folder. Go and look in the folder, what's the most recent file? Open it, you've got the Arsenal squad, and let's see if they've got a Ford as good as a Simhem 16. No, they haven't, Gabriel Jesus 15.1. So if you've got an Arsenal save, consider buying a sim head right now on to mac so same idea download the uh, code and the filters the views and the tactic from from mediafire and do that through the link in the description uh, of either this video or uh, one of my previous videos that features uh, python evaluation of uh, the foot manager players uh, once you've done that uh, what you need to do again download anaconda follow the uh, follow the steps in the windows uh, part of this video for that then you want to put a folder on the desktop, so give it a name. I've called this one FM Data, and here we're going to put the Python code we downloaded. So here's the downloaded uh, zip file from the description, and then take the Python code out that file there and put it in the folder you've just created on the desktop. And once you do that, we need to go into Anaconda, which is in, is, is in Applications. Once you've installed Anaconda, get that open, and then you should see same screen pretty much as you see in the in the Windows version uh, of, of, of this uh, and launch Jupyter Notebook it's the same steps and then so we've got Jupyter Notebook and we can navigate to the folder on the desktop that we just place the Python code in and open it now what we need to do here is we need to change the path on the Jupyter Notebook so that it looks to the folder we just created so that's the um, path we need to change and then to look what does it need to be on Mac right click on the folder and hold in option and you'll get something that says once you've held in option it says copy FM data as path name Co take that that then gives you something copied in that you can paste there it is pasted in and then just take that same text copy and paste it to the bottom of the code and put it here Once you've done that, save your Jupyter Notebook. Okay, that code's good to go. You then need to pull some data out of Football Manager. So let's switch to Football Manager. And here's my QPR save. And switch the view to All Attributes Squad. Uh, again, put the right views in. Uh, use the, the Windows Guide in this video. Um, use the timestamps in the video to go back to that. 
uh, app, uh, uh, sorry, command A, command P, bring it out like this, give it a, um, put it in the folder that's on a desktop we just, we just talked about, give it a unique file name. Then if you navigate to that folder, you should see it's there. Then run the code. The code will read that export from Football Manager, perform calculations and post there an output. Here's a squad from QPR. Okay, so if the Windows or the Mac steps earlier in this video haven't worked for you, another way to do it is to use something called Google Colab. So we'll take this first search research, uh, result here and click through into this. What we do here is we go to open a notebook and we need to upload. So if we upload the one that we've got downloaded uh, and that's the uh, that's downloadable in the description of this video and that will put the uh, Google code into Google uh, sorry in the uh, Python code into Google Colab then what we do is a couple of things first of all we click this little file thing come back to that in a moment and then second thing we just need to replace this this folder path and in Google Colab we are this is all in the cloud and we simply need to use this path slash content and we need to do that here and we need to do it at the bottom to replace this. So we replace those and we save. Okay, now we need to upload some data from FM. So what we'll do is again, if we run, let's run a player search. Let's run a goalkeeper search filter. Okay, so here's some goalkeepers. We'll do Command A, Command P on Mac. It's Control A, Control P on PC. We'll save like this and we'll put it into the place that we know on the desktop. So for me, I'll go desktop and then FM files on desktop just to be somewhere we know it is. Give it a unique file name. Again, doesn't need to be anything particular, just needs to be unique. Uh, and then we can go back into Google Colab and upload that. So we'll click on this Upload Files. And we'll navigate to where we just were. So FM files on desktop. And that's the file that's just come out of FM. Okay, so that's now in Google Colab. And then what we do is run the code. So we'll go to runtime here and run all. And it will run all of the code in Google Colab. And here we are, this folder, this uh, new file here has appeared. This is the result of the code, it's the thing we want to see. And now we just need to get that back onto the computer. So we download this. And this will come up into our downloads folder. And that's the file we just downloaded. We can use the data added to see it's the most recent folder. Double click on that. And that's our answer. So it's another step using Google Colab. You have to use the cloud. It's a little bit slower. And so I would try to use the Windows steps in this video or the Mac steps. Um, if you can't get those working, here's a fail safe, another way of trying to do it.